Hello everyone, this is Hoda Ganji and today we are going to work on a different example of how Revit, Dynamo and Excel work together. We are under the same file that we used for the previous video, uh, which is the uh, residential sample project, one of the samples available already in Autodesk Revit. Uh, if we take a look at the room schedule of this file, uh, you're going to see that uh, some of the rooms have uh, like names like kitchen with uh, little k, small k, and some of them have like capital letters at the beginning. I want all of them to be the same, but actually I don't want to go to the plans, find each of the rooms and do it one by one. I want to take all of them to Excel through Dynamo, take care of it and then send the information back to Dynamo and Revit. So uh, how about I go to Revit? Under Revit, under Selection, just like before, we can go with all elements of category, bring categories. Categories is connected to category, and what we are interested in this time are the rooms. I can bring rooms. I can put this on automatic for now, and you see we have 17 rooms. Just like before, I want to get the ID of the room, so uh, we can go to elements because this is an element type. If I go to Revit elements, elements, ID, can get the IDs here that would go in a different row in Excel. I can also go to Revit elements, element, get parameter. And the parameter that I'm interested in this time is the name of the room schedule as it shows here. So I can bring one string, I can put name, string goes to parameter name and you see we have all the names here. Uh, there's also a different way to get the name of the room. Uh, if you go to Revit, elements, uh, there is a specific tab for room and there is room name. It's going to do the exact same thing. If I connect elements to room, it's going to give me the same value. So it doesn't matter which one you want to go with. So I can group these items as room information from Revit. Next, I would like to go to Excel, import, export. First, I want to export the data into Excel, modify them and then import them. So I'm going to use export Excel. Uh, just like the previous video, we need to assign all the inputs. The file path would be the same. I need to bring one string because if you hover the mouse around here, you see that it accepts strings type of string, uh, put the file path here that goes to file path. The sheet name can be room, room goes to room. We are going to start from uh, zero row and zero column. So double click on the canvas to bring a code block, put zero. That goes to both start row, start column. The data is again two items, so I need to create a list. The list is assigned to data. As soon as you do that, you see all the information is in one Excel file and everything is here. I would like to make a save as from this file. Okay, so now in this file you see that the names are not the way I want, so I can actually take care of that. Uh, for instance, I want kitchen to start with capital K, dining, I want it to be actually like dining room with capital D and a room at the end. Uh, bedroom, also you can go like this, you can go with control F, find the name bedroom, 
replace it with bedroom with capital B. Replace all and close. You see that bedroom and that bedroom, both of them change. So this is going to be a little bit faster than finding all the rooms in Revit and change them one by one, especially if this was a larger project, there would have been a lot of spaces. For now, it's like only about like 20 or something, which is not too much because this is only a two-story house. If you consider a high-rise building or something, there would be a lot of names and uh, it might be easier to fix them in Excel rather than finding them one by one in different Revit sheets. So this seems good. I want to close this file. I'll go here. Uh, how about I group this? Uh, create group. This is going to be Excel settings. Okay. Uh, I want to change this to manual and uh, we can start a new file or uh, we can go with this one, but I don't need to take care of that part anymore. Um, I don't need to send the information into Excel again. So I can just uh, remove one of the connections so this part doesn't work. And now I'm going to switch to import export data, import Excel actually. Right? So it's very similar. We had export Excel. We have import Excel here. We have a file instead of a file path. So let's see, if I go to import export file system, I'm going to need a file. So if I bring a file path and file from path, the file path can be connected to path and that file can be connected to file. This is a little bit different than what we had before because the input is file instead of file path. I'm going to go to browse. I'm going to go to Dynamo Room, uh, the file that I modified in Excel. Open that. The sheet name was Room. I didn't change it. I need to bring String. And it's going to be Room. That goes to Sheet Name. Read as a String. We can just... Um, forget about that and show Excel that's again a true false so I need to bring one boolean this is called a boolean toggle uh, I'm gonna go with false and assign that to show Excel I can group these items as data from Excel you see the output is data. Now I need to assign this data to something in Revit, right? And that something is actually the same element that we had, which are the rooms. If you remember, if we go to Revit, elements, element, besides get parameter value by name, we also had set parameter by name. And uh, the elements are the same, they are the rooms. How about I put this over there? So the rooms go to element. Uh, parameter name is room. So I can bring one more string. I'm going to put this as name. Uh, OK, which is actually what we had over there as well. There is one last step before assigning data to value. You see in the Excel file we have two lists. The first list is actually the row number one in Excel, which is the IDs. The second list is the actual uh, name of the rooms. That's what we need. So we're going to need to select the second item of this list. I need to go to index. We call each of those things as one index and uh, get item at index. 
this is the list the index is one that one comes from here uh, you know that the numbers start from zero list number zero refers to row number one in excel list number one refers to row number two in excel so the index should be one one goes to index as soon as i connect item to value these values are going to be replaced with those which are in the revit file and I need to run this. So you see now all the names are correct.